All of us are producing data all of the time without even knowing it. The frequency and quantity with which it's being generated have earned it the title Big Data. There's so much of it that companies are now springing up with the sole aim of sifting through it. So I think the best use of big data, ironically, is to make it as small as possible because consuming all of that information is impossible. So I think a lot of technologies um, and successful desktop applications can package big data in a way that actually takes the mass and sheer size out of the equation and just points you to the right information at exactly the time that you need it to make the right decision. In 2013, under a quarter of digital data was considered useful. By 2020, it will be over a third. Thank you very much indeed. Here at Davos, collecting business cards is very much part of the way that people interact. But what businesses do with this information, how they collate it and how they use it, even whether they feel free to pass it on, these are becoming very relevant questions. Some of the algorithms are getting so sophisticated in their, in their ability to not just predict where we're going to be, what we're going to like, etc., the choices we'll make, but to be able to use that to influence us. And I think it's in that moment that I've become uncomfortable. The explosion of accessible data has many positive applications, particularly in the health sector. The challenge is to control how it is used. I think what we need to do is move to a world where people who use data professionally have systems which, which we call accountable systems. Those systems, they track not only what you're doing with the data, but why you're doing it. And so, for example, as a patient, I could go to a hospital website and not only download my data, but also see a list of all the people that have actually looked at it outside there and see what's going on. In Davos, business leaders place a premium on the privacy of their conversations. Many consumers now want the same level of control. Tanya Beckett, BBC News, Davos.